So hello Achievers, today we are in Santa Barbara with a new awesome guest. I'm sure you know him. He is the author of the best selling Get Things Done. He is David Allen and he is with me. Hello David. David, nice to see you. Thank I you. I love your name. <laughs> It's You're a great name. You must be a person of intelligence, sensitivity, <laughs> and character with a name like David. I, yeah, I, I think so. <laughs> you are explaining that when you have a lot of noise uh, in your head, you can't, you can't connect to your intuition. What advice could you give me to manage this, no this noise? Well, you have to identify the noise first. Yeah. So that's why I write it down or capture or collect the things that have your attention. I need cat food. I need to get a life. I want to find God. I need to build a company. I need to call Jim. I need to get it all out. So all those things you need to get out, first of all, that's the first step, is to capture or collect the things that have your attention. I need to identify those things. Second step, because you can't leave it there, if you left it there, now you're creating lists that are still stressful because there's still decisions about the bank or your mom or, or <laughs> yeah. your boss or the cat food or the business. You or just see whatever. what you have to do. Yeah, you see a lot of things that still require some more attention. Because the principle is if you don't give appropriate attention to what has your attention, it will start to take more of your attention than it deserves. So if you don't give, I need cat food, the right attention, cat food will take up more psychic real estate than it should, right? So what attention do I need to give to cat food or bank or doctor or my mother or any of that? So that, that then is the simple algorithm, but it's a very profound one. Stage two, once I've identified those things that are pulling on me psychologically, then I need to decide what exactly do those mean to me and what am I going to do about them? In other words, is it something I'm, going to, I'm committed to act on or not? Yes or no? Yeah. If it is, by the way, if it's not, and we get a lot of things that pop into us, that come into our world, that there is no action required, for which case it is either trash or eliminate or recycle or delete, or stage for later assessment, incubate, I need to hold this, rethink it two weeks from now or two months from now, or I just need to file it as reference, which is something I might need access to. So you, as we say, toss it, tickle it for later, assessment or file it if there's no action. If there is action, two simple questions, but very profound. Yeah, what I outcome am I committed to, if any, about this? What's the project? You get to mark mom off as done or bank off as done or doctor off as done when what's true. What's your project? What is your outcome? What are you committed to achieve? What are you going to finish making these videos? David, when are you finished with this when what's true? And that's the finish line that you need to also define because that's a stake in the ground. You need to put out there, bang that in the ground because the winds of life are going to blow you all over the place. If that was the only thing you had to do, hmm, it still would be challenging. But you got about 45 of those, right? Including yeah. all the things in your personal life or everything else. So you better give yourself a nice stake in the ground called finish this video project and here's what finish means and I need to keep reminding myself of that consistently to say what do I still need to do next to, to, to move the needle or to be able to check that off. So the second question, here's the outcome. What's the very next thing that would need to happen to start to move forward on that? And that's the what's the next action question, which is such a core key element to how you get things done. In other words, the keys to getting things done is what does done mean and what does doing look like and where would it happen? So you got this final thing on your video project here. You need to have that somewhere out there. And you need to decide how often do you need to look at that final outcome and assess where you are against that. Ooh, the delta, there's still a delta. I can't mark it off as done yet because something's not true yet. And then, of course, your question is, so what's the very next action you need to take to start moving toward completion? Is that a phone call? Is that an email? Is that a surf the web? Is that a draft a document? Is that something you're waiting on uh, for you know, Julia or somebody else to get back to you about. And you need to make sure you've defined those. Once you've defined outcome and action, and you park those someplace that you trust, you'll see those at some appropriate place, guess what? Off your mind. Not finished, but off your mind. Because your mind will say, gee, 
David, you haven't quite finished appropriately engaging with your commitment yet until you've made these decisions and parked them someplace appropriate. So I just discovered this algorithm. It's not hard. Mm. It's not like some foreign language or some new technology. Everybody knows how to write things down. Everybody knows how to decide what's the outcome, what's the action step. Everybody knows how to keep lists. Everybody knows how to look at them on some regular basis. So these are not behaviors you don't know how to do. They're behaviors you have not orchestrated yet in a coherent way to make sure you can walk through your life with nothing on your mind except whatever's in front of you. So that you walk around in the presence, not having that some exceptional event. And I just figured out how you do that. What you do with that clear space is up to you.